Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting because it is a collab with my beautiful friend Marina who is Make, Make by Marina here on YouTube. I'll pop some pictures up. She is absolutely amazing, super talented, beautiful and just one of the sweetest, kindest people you could hope to meet and I'm so excited to be collabing with her again. So I'm not the best at coming up with questions for collabs, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I've come up with 11 questions. I couldn't just do 10, of course not. This is me. I've got to be awkward. So I've come up with 11 questions for us to answer, just so you can kind of get to know our preferences a little bit, a little bit about our makeup style, maybe. Yeah, we shall see. Um, but guys, I will make sure Marina's channel is linked in the description box below, please please go and check her out you are going to love her she is beautiful talented colorful just and so funny she's really funny um so yeah i'm gonna start cracking on we're both going to be using the p louise a world full of wonder palette um of course this is all it turns on really easily um it's squeaky because I've left this thing in there. So we've got these shades down here. I'm going to take this out to use. And these shades here. But I'm not going to be using this top part. So these are the shades I'm going to be using today. So the first shade I'm going to go into is Splendid. This one here. And question number one. So... It's kind of a what do you prefer out of this or that. So large or small eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've primed my eyes with the P. Louise base in Rumour 02. Um, I have to say large palettes. I like to have the options. There are a few smaller palettes I like, but generally I prefer the larger palettes. Like I said, it's just there's more options within them. I like to to use like different colors together etc so usually that's kind of leans itself towards more of the larger palettes um there are a few smaller palettes that i love but on the whole i would have to say i prefer larger palettes um yeah but i definitely think that smaller palettes have their place so question number two cream or powder contour bronzer blush highlight um i have to say both um but if i had to choose oh that, see i don't know why i added that one in because that's a really really tough one for me to answer i probably would have to say cream these days um just because i find that they're really flattering on my skin as my skin ages um and i've really gotten into cream products in the last couple of years definitely and i do find that they're generally more long wearing as well i guess dependent on the formulas and setting sprays and powders etc but i do like to use both i I find that it just adds that extra staying powder, powder, power, if you've got the cream and then the powder product on top, just extends the wear. But yes, if I've got to choose, I would pick cream. Apart from highlighter. No, okay. Highlighter, I have to say powder. Yeah, I didn't make this easy to answer, did I? I hope Marina's having an easier time answering these questions than me. Um, but yeah. Cream for contour, bronze and blush and powder for highlight. Okay, so I'm thinking for the inner part, I'm going to go in with Gifted. This one here. And we are moving on to question number three neutral or colorful lips um 
that all depends really on how I feel, what I look I do, because I I still love to pair a colourful lip with a colourful eye and a nude lip with a colourful eye. So for me, I think when it comes to lipsticks, etc., I it depends on my mood. There was a time, probably not so long ago, where I almost always wore colourful lipsticks only but I can see the beauty in a neutral lip these days and I do I do enjoy it um but again if I had to choose I would have to say color but I do love a neutral lip also uh, I think I'm gonna go into new horizon just to blend out the inner part and then move on to question number four neutral or colorful eyes now this one is super easy for me colorful all the way um i started a series which if you're not new to my channel you admit it's steph does neutral and i've not been very good at keeping up with it in fact i think i only did about three um something i kind of struggle with i i struggle to put together a neutral eye look for one um but also i use my makeup as a therapy um because of the chronic pain and the um being stuck in most of the time almost all of the time so uh for me it's it's a therapy and color really kind of plays a huge part in that for me so definitely colorful but yeah if there are any of you guys that would like me to continue with that Steph does neutral please let me know I'm fully prepared to give it another crack and continue with it because I do have some fairly really nice neutral palettes actually so I do love neutral looks on other people so yeah if if you would like to see that series kind of revived then please do let me know and I will I will continue okay so to blend out the outer side I think I'm gonna go into miraculous this one here okay so Question five, cool tones or warm tones? Um, I would have to say cool tones. Generally, I do prefer cool tones. Um, but I do use both. I do generally prefer to use um, cool tones. Yeah, definitely cool tones are my preference, but I, I love both. Okay, so for shimmers, I am going to, I'm going to use my command first and move on to question number six, liquid or powder foundation, um, liquid. I just find that it, it looks nicer on my older, as my skin's getting older. So yeah, I would have to say definitely liquid foundation. This is such a beautiful shade. Look at that. I do love the P. Louise palettes. Question number seven, freckles or no freckles? Um, I have actually got some products like to create freckles. Um, Generally, I would say no, but I think a lot of that is also because I'm too lazy to do it. So I would have to say no freckles. Okay, next question. So question number eight. Liquid lipstick, bullet lipstick or gloss? Um, generally, I would say liquid lipstick. I do prefer a liquid lipstick because of the lasting power um 
Yeah. Liquid lipstick. There are a few bullet lipsticks that I have that do last really well. Um, the bullet lipsticks from Melt Cosmetics, they last really well. And I do really enjoy them. But on the whole, liquid lipstick. So, question number nine. Colour correct or just concealer? Um, I do like to colour correct. But again sheer laziness I think stops me so on the most part it would be just concealer and depending on how my skin is sometimes just foundation um and also depending on the foundation if it's a full coverage one sometimes I won't even use concealer um yeah I guess it a lot of it depends on I say how lazy I'm feeling I'm always in pain so sometimes if the pain's worse I, I kind of need it to be quicker so yeah long-winded way of saying generally just concealer but I do like to use color corrector when I have time or can be bothered okay question number 10 falsies or just mascara um, I'm going to go into life-changing this one here um, falsies definitely um my my lashes aren't very long and they don't curl easy um so i definitely prefer and also with a lot of the looks that i do i do prefer falsies with it so that's a nice easy one to answer and the final question question number 11 Foundation, light, medium or full coverage foundation, matte or glowy? Um, that completely depends on my skin. If my skin is looking pretty good, I would tend to go for a more light to medium coverage. Um, but if my skin's not looking its best or if I'm wanting it to, like, really like last and be flawless i'll go for full coverage so that's really a completely depends on well circumstance and my skin at the time um and since my skin's not as oily as it once was i i can get away more with with some more glowy foundations that I do love a glowy look, but then if I've gone for a really bold, really more creative look, I do quite often prefer to have mattes, just, yeah, it depends really. It's not really an easy one to answer because they both have their place and um, they all have their place, like light, medium, full coverage. Um, matte and glowy. I picked up way too much on the brush there. Um, but yeah, they are my answers. Okay. Well, I like how that's looking. Okay, so I've answered all the questions, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you the finished look and wrap up. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, my beauty, so this is the finished look. I'm loving how it came out. I'm just gonna let you know a few of the bits that I popped on my face before we continue. So for contour, I went into my little Chaos Cosmetics UK face palette. I love this. And I used the contour shade out of this. This is such an amazing little palette. I love it. Um, for blush, I picked this up off of the TikTok shop, um, P. Louise's TikTok shop. So yes, I had to have this. This is the C Colour in Your Darkest Days. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Destiny's Door palette. Um, so I'll just open that up and take the plastic sheet out. Um, so we get the cream shades of the top six and then the powder shades are the bottom six so I used this shade here do they have names no 
and this cream shade and then this <laughs> this powder shade and I think it looks beautiful I am impressed with this so far for highlighter I used one of the new Artitude Cosmetics highlighters this is the shade Dimension um, which has a really nice purple shift to it um, it looks beautiful I also use this on my like under my brow and on my inner corner I love it it's so beautiful guys um where are we at now for eyes um to tight liner I use the made by Mitchell all smudge no budge liner in black black track and then in my waterline I used the made by Mitchell all smudge no budge in I think it's called quite white um but white writing on yellow it doesn't show up so if I have that wrong I apologize for the liner I use the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude liner and lash two-in-one liner and lash adhesive in black I love this and the lashes are also from Artitude Cosmetics um, but I'm unsure of the name of the style these were a gift um, but I love them they're beautiful um, okay oh lips lips so I used the Beauty Moon Cosmetics lip icon in the shade M39 this is my favorite lipstick at the moment guys I'm loving this it's just the perfect shade and the perfect formula um, for my under eyes I just used the same shades as on the lid just to just to under my eyes um, okay i cannot wait to hear marina's answers to these questions it's going to be fun i think i have an idea on at least a couple of them what she's going to answer um and guys if you have a channel or if you just want to write your answers in the description not in the description box below steph in the comment section below let me know what your answers would be to these questions and yeah if you have a channel and you want to answer these questions on your channel please do tag myself and marina so that we can hear your answers too um marina thank you so much for collabing with me i absolutely loved it um i'm not the best at picking questions but i hope i did okay let me know what you think guys um yeah marina thank you so much i love you this was so much fun yeah um and guys thank you so much for watching if you are new if you've come over from marina's channel hi welcome i'm steph i love colorful makeup i love indie brands i love to talk makeup have fun with makeup if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do consider subscribing so that we can hang out some more that would be so much fun um and guys also if you haven't been over to check out marina's channel please 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 go over you are gonna love her she does some amazing looks subscriber request videos um she just does beautiful looks colorful beautiful looks and a few neutral ones um but yeah seriously guys if you haven't checked out marina's channel please 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 go over subscribe like comment all of that good stuff because she so deserves it she's beautiful and talented so guys that is about it from me i think i've rambled this ending long enough um i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye yeah. stepping in the spa like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play, oh my, yeah. Talk of the city with the party, always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?